Hey, it's Elliot, and I am officially one year and five months on testosterone. I also have incredibly puffy hair today, so please enjoy this video. So two and a half weeks ago, I had my total hysterectomy, and so I'm basically on the couch, not being able to do very much. So while I watch nature documentaries and I can learn more about animals because that's what I like to learn about, I took up crocheting. Wow, we crocheting was something I knew about because my mom hand crochets yarmulkes um, for us because we're Jewish and for our family and friends and stuff. So I saw her do it, but it's on a very small scale. And I decided that I wanted a trans pride blanket, which you can kind of see here. And I'm going to show a little bit more later because gay stuff is awesome. And because um, that's what I wanted to learn to do. So I started on day one, and this is what I had, and then day two, and day three. Finally finished it, and it turned out like this. It was more perspective, happiness. Yay. Oh, it's so warm and it's so cozy. Not that I need things to be super warm here in Florida, but um, it's been nice because we've had like two weeks of cold weather, which I'm upset about because that means I've missed really good Disney days while I could have been doing that instead of sitting here on the couch. Um, I also, so I made this in like five days and then I made um, a crocheted crop top asexual flag for my best friend who's asexual. And then I made, I'm in the middle of making a scarf for my friend. It's grays and this doesn't do it justice because it looks like crap right now, but it's going to look really cool when it's done. And it's actually really long, so that'll be fun to finish. It's taking a long time. And I also made something super gay. Are you ready? I don't think you can handle it. Gay. 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 Look at this gay stuff. So I made this, I think it's super cute, and I think it would make like a super cute like mini pride flag, like pretend like this is a pole, and then like this goes all the way down it, so it's like this, and like ooh, pride flag, like mini pride flag, like the ones people take at pride when you're walking in the parade and stuff, like that. I usually carry a trans pride flag because um, for the last two years, last three years, I don't remember, I have led um, our pride parade because our pride parade starts with all the trans people and I've been at the front of the trans march every year so that's been awesome. Um, so yeah, and I think this would be really cool to make and maybe to sell at pride too. I've never been in a booth because I've always wanted to enjoy it but with the nonprofit organization I volunteer with, um, I'm really trying to urge them to reach out more into the community and maybe be in pride and I think that um, also doing some handcrafted stuff would be really fun and some gay handcrafted stuff is even better. What I did specifically for this one is I left these on and each one is like two colors like this one's green and yellow. That way it can be connected to a pole or um, it can be just trimmed off and then it could hang this way or this way or this way or whatever way you choose. So some updates on my healing. I had like I said before, I had like bad days, good days, then bad days again. And then I had like two really awesome days. But then yesterday there was a trans like play date thing. So locally all the parents who have young trans kids got together. And um, one of my really good friends, I've been helping her daughter transition and she's only six. And so I haven't seen her in a long time because of my surgery and I was like, I've been feeling kind of well, I'm gonna go there. So I went and saw her daughter and then her two brothers and they're all around the same age. And it was just, I was having fun and it was really great to see all the parents because a lot of the trans, the, the parents of trans kids wanted to talk to me and there were some parents who were trans and also had trans kids which was kind of cool and as well as um, just a bunch of different situations it was really nice to get out and talk to people especially getting out of the house um, and I actually convinced my mom to come too because I felt like it would be good for her to talk to some other parents who have trans kids even though they're, a lot of them were younger um, so I did that, but um, 
the little girl who I went to see, she's full of so much energy. She's so sweet. And she was like, come on, let's go play in this and let's go climb on this. And so I was climbing on something that was definitely meant for little kids. And as I was going up, it started getting smaller and smaller and smaller when you got to the top. And at one point I was like on my back, like sliding like this. And I was like, I definitely should not be doing this because I just had a total hysterectomy. So I got done and I was like completely out of breath. And like even going out to the store is a lot for me. So like this was like way too much. I went home. We were only there for like an hour, like an hour and a half maybe. And I went home and I took an hour and a half nap afterwards because that was a lot. So I definitely shouldn't have pushed it. And now today I'm in a lot of pain. But other than that, been pretty good. Um, I definitely bled a lot yesterday, which is really weird because like I don't have ovaries. So all the bleeding I know is coming from my incision, which is... Anyway, that is the update for you guys about all my gay stuff. So if you want gay stuff, maybe I will make like an Etsy shop of cute crocheted gay stuff. Let me know in the comments, I guess, if that's something you'd like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. All right, bye.